We're on top of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel in Singapore. It has one of the highest rates of lightning strikes in the world. We're going to be running image-based auto trigger. It sounds like you're out of a job. <laughs> go, 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 go. Going to miss all the lightning. <sighs> First time, I think, where I've managed to chill by the pool in the day, yeah. but then been running around like a nutter in the evening. It was tiring. The yeah. most relieving shoot I think we've ever had. Because there was the chance that we flew 20 hours across the world, nothing happened, and then we had to come back. Fully down to chance. I, I mean, don't know what we would have done. Should we just pub, pub, pub? The moment when we realized that the lightning was on the other side of the hotel was a fun one pegging it through the halls. I hope no one was looking through the spy holes on the hotel doors to see a bunch of crew legging it through the hallways. Yeah, what were we doing? <laughs> My shorts are full. Lightning <laughs> currently striking on the bayside. Oh. Oh. Before we test out lightning on Dan, what? we spoke to an expert called Professor Lou. What? What? Uh, Professor Lou, how are you doing? Oh, how are you? I'm great. Yeah, Dan, uh, Dan, right? Yep. And, Hello, uh, Gavin. Gavin. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we're trying to capture the lightning in super slow motion because when you look at it with your eyes, it just seems instant. Mm -hmm. uh, how fast does lightning actually move? It would be a real challenge for you because, you know, the speed is actually you know, very, very high. There are two phases to the development of a lightning strike. It starts from the cloud. A lightning leader will be sent. The speed of that is about one-tenth the velocity of light. Now, that is not the main lightning channel. The main lightning channel actually develops you know, after contact with, from the downcoming leader with the ground, and then there is this return stroke which moves up from the ground to the cloud. And the speed of propagation of that particular channel is even faster. And that travels at one-third the velocity of light. OK, so we're going to struggle to capture this. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> How many volts in a lightning bolt? Voltage varies from about 10 million to 100 million volts. 100 million volts. That, that's a lot of voltage. Yeah. So you, is could, it... you could fry an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So I'm not planning on it, but what's it like to get hit by lightning? Wow. <laughs> I, I do not uh, advise you to, you know, uh, stand out in the open and say I'm invincible, you know, and try to attract <laughs> a lightning strike. But when the voltage impinges on a person, that will cause a current to flow through the body. The amount of current which flows depends on the resistance of the body. But, you know, in reality, you know, when a lightning stroke hits you directly, you know, uh, the, ch the chances of uh, survival is actually extremely slim. The temperature of a lightning channel basically is about 30,000 degrees Kelvin or centigrade. 30,000? And, and how long is it 30,000, uh -huh. just for like split seconds? Uh, it is actually, you know, the whole duration of the wave, uh, the lightning wave varies from uh, microseconds to milliseconds, you know. And the duration maximum is maybe about one second. It could be fatal. Yeah. So you'd know about it for sure. What is the correct thing to do if you're out in an open area and there's a big lightning storm coming in? Well, you try your best to get indoors. Uh. OK, so just <laughs> run inside. Say, run inside. He who plays and runs away, lives to play another day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, yeah. yeah so, run indoors. That, that's, that, I think that's the most sensible advice. That's stupid. <laughs> go, go on, so, is it true um, you get superpowers when you're struck by lightning? I wish that could be so, you know? Then I'll become Thor or Iron Man. OK. No, the answer is no. No, oh, oh. No, you misled no. me for a second. Oh, I was yeah. like, does he or what? No. <laughs> OK, well, thanks very much, okay. Professor. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you thank very you, much. Yeah. OK, back to you, Gavin, Dan. Thanks, us. I bloody loved him. He was a legend. He reminded me of my granddad. Yeah. Time for a bit of analysis. I want to take one of our clips, find one where we can see the entire bolt from cloud all the way to the ocean, and time how long it took with all the feelers to hit the ocean in real time. I think it'd be fast. I also think it'll be fast. Time code is set to 0.0, .0 seconds. Yep. Ready to time it? OK. Yes. Oh, that was it. <laughs> so <laughs> what? If I go frame by frame. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, 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 yeah. So in one frame, it's traveling that far? 0. 0.0006 seconds. Like I said, 632. Uh, it's fast. <laughs> it's really so, fast. <laughs> so, yeah. What is interesting to me, if you look at all these step leaders, which is, you know, each finger of the thing, they're, they're all trying to find the path of least resistance down to the planet. But the one that gets there first is the one that sends the bolt up. But you can already see before it wins what the shape of the lightning bolt will be. 
So when this hits the ground here, the lightning will come up and follow the exact path that this one took. So that's the exact... And then everything else disappears. See, that's like the exact path that came down. There's a lot going on in just a lightning storm. It is, and it happens so quickly as well. There's actually a clip I found where it's sort of halfway coming up. So you mean to say that even though the speed of lightning of it coming back up, you managed to capture it where it hadn't gone all the way up yet, and it was literally only halfway Yeah, you up. want to see it? Yeah. See, look at that. Whoa. So, so that is sort of halfway between the whiteout that we saw and the other one, but it hasn't reached this point. So you can't actually imagine it. It's not actually like this. It's just so bright, it's blowing out the camera from that point. And the thing is, because of the camera that we use, the 2512 has a global shutter. That means this is an actual moment in time. This isn't an artifact because of a rolling shutter. This is actually how far up it got. So if we'd have given it another tiny, tiny split second, it would have been all the way to the top. Yeah, well, because in one 28,500th of a second, it hit the ground and went all the way up to here. Shall we do a lovely tabletop experiment? Yeah. You've forgotten what it was, didn't you? That's good, that's good. The Van de Graaff generator. Classic school experiment. Yep. I like the gloves more than anything. Rubber <laughs> gloves. How does it work? The way this works is similar to lightning in that a load of brushes in here build up a just static charge, they friction and build up a charge. The lighter, positively charged particles come to the top. With lightning, what has happened, instead of brushes, you get the warmer air coming to the top and then cooling, creating ice particles that then come down and they bash into each other and create that static charge. So instead of brushes, you've got ice, and in the top of the cloud, you've got the lighter particles, and the bottom is the negative. So that explains why Singapore is such a hot spot, is because of the warm climate. Yeah, so the warm, water... Warm water, warm air. All goes to the top, through the clouds, forms the clouds, ice at the top, brush it together, makes lightning. So this is ready to go. Yeah. We're going to film it with the 2511, very similar camera to what we use in Singapore. We will have to dim the lights, because these flicker like crazy. And also, we want to see the spark, not these lights. That sounds good. I'm kind of scared, but also excited. Let's turn on the loud beast. OK. I feel like generic bad guy from famous movie. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn it on and power it up, OK? Yeah. So should we turn the lights off? Yeah. Oh, you can hear oh. it. OK, I'm going to just slowly move this closer and closer. Yeah. OK, so here we go. All right, stop. Turn it off. Oh. All right, you ready? Playback yep. of slow motion footage. Yep. That's it. That is one frame. One frame? Well, it's 28,000 frames a second over, what, an inch? I guess, uh, because lightning is so much further away, it's like it's... miles high that we're getting much more of a chance to see it. Yeah. So I feel like this video has been a lot of step leaders leading down to one main point, yeah. which is you get zapped by electricity. I mean, blokes get hit by real lightning and survive. <laughs> so yeah. what's this little thing with brushes and stuff really going to do? 395,000 volts. Is it? Yeah. But think about it like this. <laughs> lightning is 100 million volts. OK, well, that makes me feel better then. Are you ready? I guess. All right, let's get the lights in high speed mode. OK, here we go. Ah, was that it? Yeah, just... Oh, I didn't trigger. I was waiting for you. All right, let's just do it again. All right. Oh, <laughs> miles away! Was so... I was not expecting that. I think yeah. you'd have to shoot in really close. Well, you just want to go like... <laughs> ah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> what was I expecting? At least let me be filming. What was I expecting? All right. All right, you ready? I mean, yeah. All right. I'm just going to go like... <laughs> Ready? Yeah. OK. <laughs> ah! Is that it? I guess. All I right. can't see. Oh! I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Stay away from this thing. And why have I not learned my lesson here? I keep pointing at it. What do I expect? Oh, moron. All right, so far, I've not seen a single spark on this. Really? Because a finger isn't enough of a point. All right, I'll try it with an elbow, I guess. Rolling. Oh, I can feel it, like my hair's like going yeah. towards it. 
God. Oh, oh. Bloody saw that, that one. That was a bright one, wasn't it? That was amazing. <laughs> Christ. All right, Dan, very good job, Thank obviously. You. Yep. you ready for your moment of glory? Can't wait. And when I say moment, I mean a very a tiny fraction of a second. Oh, there it was. That's it. That was one frame. There it is. Also, note the fact that it hits the ball, and then you see the reflection oh. in the ball back to your mirrored elbow. That's so weird. Imagine if it was a lot longer and two inches thick. That's what lightning's like getting hit by. <laughs> yeah. Your arm would be gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'd be gone. You would be gone. You'd pop. Yeah. That was fun. Feeling all right, Dan? A bit tingly. A little actually. bit tingly? Yeah, my, my arm's a bit numb. You look yeah. good. I think we broke the monitor, too. There's lightning happening on that. Yeah, it's like been affected or something. Everything's a bit, ooh, yeah. in here. So I feel like I learned a lot from that episode. I, I, the main thing I took away from that is that essentially all the lightning is is a giant ball of static. It's just On a huge. massive scale. It's like the biggest pair of socks on the world's carpet. Yes. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to check out other less shocking episodes of Planet Slow Mo. And we'll just be right here while you click something over there. I feel like uh, you should get shocked as well for this. It's probably fair.